Hi, and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today, I'll be reviewing a Casio AE. I'm, I'll be reviewing and uh, doing a tutorial for a Casio AE 1000 uh, watch that's been uh, shown in the movie The Mine uh, featuring Arnie Hammer. Uh, now, the reason why I decided to do uh, this video is because uh, the movie was released recently and I watched it the other night. And while I was watching it, as soon as I saw this watch, I remembered that a friend of mine has this exact same watch. So I called him up and asked him if he would be uh, if he would be willing to lend it to me so I can do this video, and he agreed. So here we are. Uh, the movie itself uh, is uh, has been released, like I said, uh, a, a month ago or so, and uh, it's it shows uh, two soldiers, a sniper and a spotter. And they fail at an assassination attempt, and they they're running away because they're discovered by their enemies. And while they're running away, uh, they get caught in a sandstorm and end up in a minefield. Uh, within minutes, the spotter, uh, for, uh, one of the soldiers, uh, steps on a mine and uh, is blown away, and he dies very soon. And uh, our our lead character, the sniper. Uh, he tries to help him and in doing so also steps on a mine but only preps him uh, preps the mine so it hasn't activated I mean it it did activate but it didn't explode and he has to uh, maintain the pressure on the mine so uh, he pretty much is stuck standing on that mine and the rest of the movie we're uh, looking I mean we're uh, following him trying to survive until the help arrives uh, and as he radios for help uh, they inform him th inform him that they won't be able to arrive for another 52 hours and that's where our watch comes uh, comes uh, into the scene and we see our soldier setting up the watch or the watch timer countdown timer to 52 hours and from there on, uh, the watch is featured pretty heavily in the movie, uh, almost as one of the characters. Because you only have one character in the movie, maybe a couple of them, but you usually see only one, uh, the soldier and his watch. And he keeps checking the time uh, to see how much more of that hell he needs to endure. So uh, the watch is, like I said, almost like a character in this movie. And uh, as I said, the 52-hour uh, uh, time frame that he needs to endure also uh, shows the first uh, factual error of the movie. And it's that this watch has only a 24-hour countdown timer. So they couldn't possibly do the 52 hours. So that was probably uh, just CGI inserted numbers. Also, uh, the screen, I'll, I'll put a picture on. As you can see, the screen used uh, to display the countdown timer is not the countdown timer screen. It's actually in the home time. And uh, the STO stands for Stockholm as the time zone, as the home time zone. So they actually used STO probably because it reminded them of stopwatch or something. And they thought that a countdown timer is probably called a stopwatch. At least that's my theory. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to the movie, I personally like the movie because I like movies where you have uh, one or a few characters trying to survive uh, against all odds and trying to uh, to make the best out of their situation. And this is uh, that kind of movie. It's also a bit psychological and he remembers things, but I won't reveal too much. Uh, like I said, the the watch is uh, featured pretty heavily, and uh, for for all of you who are really uh, <laughs> movie crazy, if you want to call it that way, uh, you should check out the movie No Man's Land. It's a Bosnian movie from two thousand one, and it's similar to this in which uh, where the the lead character is also uh, he wakes up uh, laying on a mine because the enemy has put him on a mine and it's also activated and he's trying to get help and trying to survive uh well that's about it when it comes to the movies so enough about that and let's move on to the watch uh this watch is part of the casio uh, youth collection as they call them or should i say like a classic uh a cheap watch so it's about 25 dollars or something uh in size it's it's 43 millimeters in diameter and 48 millimeters lug to lugs so it's pretty pretty wearable for everyone uh smaller wrist or or larger wristed guys uh the the strap is pretty soft and nice but it's a bit thin compared to g-shocks so and also the watch is very very light 
Uh, I like the look of this watch because it, it's kind of uh, uh, funky and it reminds me, I mean, it looks like some kind of a movie prop from sci-fi movies of, of, of the 80s or early 90s. Uh, also, there used to be a Casio model in the 90s that had the Earth, uh, the map of the world, on the screen, and it used to be my dream watch. So this watch kind of reminds me of, of that. Uh, also, this circle here, Casio says it's supposed to evoke like aviation instruments. So this is like some kind of a radar. And uh, the design, like I said, is pretty cool. And this watch comes in a couple of colors. And also, there's a square version. So like the module is the same, only only uh, flipped. Uh, the circle is on the other side, and it's square shaped. And I like that model e even better. It reminds me even more like something from the Aliens movie or something like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to the watch itself, uh, it has a world time function, hence the world map. And we'll go th quickly through the modes so you can see uh, all the things that it has and then we'll cover the modes uh, one by one and explain how everything works. Okay, so like we said, this is the home time. Uh, then you have the world time. You have alarm and it has five alarms. Five alarms and the hourly chime. You have a 24-hour timer, so not a 52-hour timer like in the movie. And you have a 24-hour stopwatch. And you're back to home screen. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now let's dive into the watch and explain how everything works. And what the specialty of this watch is. Uh, the specialty of this watch is that uh, in the world time, yes, it has 31 time zones, 48 cities like many Casio watches. But... Uh, it has pre-selected time zones in the main screen so you can choose between four time zones this is the main and pressing the search button goes through these time time zone 2 time zone 3 time zone 4 and back to home time so you don't have to go into the world time to see uh, time in a different part of the world but you can pre-select or pre-program uh, the four time zones here and by simply pressing a button, you switch from one to another. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature. Also, as you can see, uh, as you go through time zones, the world map changes uh, the highlighted area of the of the selected time zone. And that's pretty cool because as you move through the time zones, you, you can actually see like physically where a certain city is. So I really like that feature. Uh, so like uh, in the main screen, you have the hours, minutes, seconds, you have when you're in the home time you have the day month and date and like we said the world map that shows which time zone you're currently in uh, in the upper left corner you have the status status screen where you can see now ALM for alarm and SIG for the hourly chime so that means that both of these functions are currently on uh, also above that you see this blank space it's actually for indicating the mute function which I'll show you right away. So the mute function is when you can't hear, uh, when you operate the watch, but it doesn't make any sound. To activate that, you need to be in the home screen and hold the mode button for more than three seconds. So hold it, and there. We activated the mute button, uh, the mute function, and the mute is displayed in the, in the upper left corner. So now, going through modes or operating the watch makes no, no uh, sound at all. But we'll turn that off because we want to hear it okay and finally you have this circle here like I said it's supposed to evoke the look of a radar but what it does is actually it's an analog digital or digital analog display of time so as you can see <clears throat> let's go back to home time as you can see it displays the main time in the analog form and the cool thing about it uh, you might find it a bit uh, useless but it's not because it keeps uh, displaying this time no matter what you do with the watch and uh, what mode you're in so as you go through the world time uh, alarm timer or stopwatch and using any of these modes doesn't change the display of the home time here so that's a pretty cool feature because you can always see what the home time is uh, no matter which function you're in uh, okay so now uh, to uh, another thing that like I said you can do in the home in the home screen this uh, besides turning on and off the mute function you have the light which is in the upper uh, uh, right corner and as you can see the watch uses the incandescent light 
and although over here it doesn't seem as much but in dark it actually displays the whole the whole face with no problem and uh, like we said the search button goes through the four pre-selected time zones to change these time zones uh, you go to let's say this time 2 and you want, cha want to change that to a different time zone you press and hold the adjust button and now you can go east and west uh, through different time zones as you can see on the world map we're also moving so let's say we'll select this you press the adjust again and now you've selected a different time zone and you can do that for each and every one of these time zones so you press adjust and move west or east depending on what you want to select press adjust and you've turned it off uh, and you've moved to that time zone so you can select any time zone for these four pre-selected time zones with the first one being your main time and it determines the time uh, in all the world time functions so this is the one that you need to put correctly for the time zone that you selected and all the others are going to be automatically uh, adjusted also as you can see there's the DST setting and in these uh, you don't see the DST but uh, each of these uh, time zones can have their DST setting turned daylight savings time so summertime or winter time turned on or off but you need to do it in the world time function so this pre these pre-selected time zones only only pull the data from the world time function so whatever you put in the world time function for let's say I don't know uh, for Mexico Mexico City if you put in the world time that the DST is on it will DS display the DST on here and it will adjust the time accordingly also if you turn it off in the world time it will be turned off here okay so now let's uh, do the setup of the watch uh, in the home time in the in the main home screen you press and hold the adjust button and the seconds start to uh, to blink and now if you press them beyond 30 seconds they reset to zero and the move uh, the minutes move uh, by one up and if you reset them uh, before 30 seconds the minutes will stay the same as you can see uh, pressing the mode button will uh, go through different values to set up and you can set them up uh, increasing and in decreasing order with these two buttons so let's uh, do the next the next one is the DST setting or the summer time so currently it's on because it's summer but I mean summer it's spring but uh, the summer time is on you can turn it on or off with the uh, search button here okay once you've set up the DST now you're setting up your ho home time zone and like I said you need to select this one correctly because all other time zones are based on this so you select your own okay let's put Stockholm so we have the same time zone they had in the movie and that's okay okay now pressing the mode button you move to the hours you move up or down and you can speed scroll pressing the button and holding will scrape uh, speed scroll and as you can see this analog display is following the digital okay pressing the mode button again now you're moving the the minutes pressing it again here you're selecting whether you want a 24 hour or 12 hour display so with 12 hour display you're going to have a pm am or 24 hour you're going to have the military time i prefer this one as i don't know i grew up in europe and we have this kind of time and as you can see one more interesting thing but i'll put a photo uh the display is really cool because it has these segments or lines and dots on these parts so it actually uh the camera doesn't pick it up that well but in person it really looks cool and different than other Casio displays okay pressing the mode you go through the years then month then uh, date and the day is determined automatically until the the year 2039 pressing the mode again you get to the LT or light setting this backlight can excuse me can have uh, two settings uh, three it means that will it will stay on for three seconds after you release the the button or if it's at one it's gonna stay on for a second and a half uh, I like uh, I like the the three uh, because it's I don't know I, I prefer it to be as long as possible uh, pressing the mode again you go back to the setting of the se seconds so like I said resetting 
and syncing the watch to the atomic or whatever and this pretty much completes the setting up of the main time and pressing the adjust button you exit the the uh, the the adjusting mode okay so the first function that we're going to go through after you've set up the watch is going to be the world time and in world time uh unfortunately you can only go uh, due east so only the, this button moves uh, through the time zones because the upper button is used for the light function uh, which is a shame because it would be uh, better if you if you could, you could go east and west because uh, if you miss the time zone here you need to do a full circle to go back to it and uh, like I said if you can notice regardless of which time zone you're in uh, this display here displays the home time and now uh, the only thing that you can change in the world time besides selecting the time zone is turn the DST on and off for each time zone and that is then transferred into the main display where you have those four time zones so to turn the DST on or off you just hold the adjust button and you have turned on the DST for this selected time zone and now if you select that time zone in the home time it will also display the DST on pressing the, the, the adjust again turns off uh, the DST for the selected time zone and you can do it uh, individually for any time zone you select and that's pretty much it when it comes to the world time the next function is the alarm function and like I said this watch has five alarms you scroll through the alarms with the search button so you have alarm 2 1 2 3 4 5 and this is the hourly chime uh, you turn on and off each alarm by pressing the adjust button so as you can see you have one on on and off one on means that this alarm will sound uh, today at this time and that will be it if you put it at on that means that it will be a daily alarm so it will go off every day at midnight and if you put it to off it won't go off at all and as you can see this ALM will be displayed as long as at least one alarms is on and we have the alarm one on and that is why the ALM is displayed there so if we turn off the uh, the alarm one the ALM is gone because none of the other alarms is turned on also the hourly chime you go to this display and turning it uh, with the adjust button you can turn it on or off and as you can see the SIG in the upper left corner is uh, appearing or disappearing now if you put it like this when uh, every full hour comes uh, there will be no, no sound okay so let's turn the sig on and let's move to let's say the alarm one and you set up the alarm just like the time you hold the adjust button and once it beeps you set up the hours and over here you can go up uh, I mean you can increase and decrease the value so as long as you're in the adjusting mode when something is blinking the light doesn't work but it's used for setting up in one direction so let's say you put the alarm for 630 or 605 so we don't have to scroll through 30 pressing the mode moves to minutes you set up the minutes and that's it so and here you select whether you want it uh, you can also select it like this in the mo in the settings mode like you can put it on one on oh you just select uh, whether it's going to be a daily alarm or, or a single alarm and pressing the adjust button exits uh, the adjusting mode and here you can do it with the adjusting button you can also turn it off so let's turn it off uh, and you do that uh, that same thing for each one of these alarms and like I said as long as one of them is turned on the alarm the ALM will be displayed in the upper left corner okay and let's move on to the next mode and this uh, this is the countdown timer and like we said it's a 24 hour countdown timer and uh, something weird about it is that it displays the tenth of seconds which is pretty rare on Casio watches so uh, you can start and stop it with this button and you reset it uh, you reset it with the with the adjust button if you start it like this with the zeros it will uh, start counting down from 24 hours so you press the start button and as you can see it's going from 23 59 59 and it displays the tenth of tenths of seconds uh, you can stop it you can reset it or if you wanna select uh, your own time uh, you press and hold the adjust button this sets up the hours again you can go increase and decrease 
uh, minutes and unlike many of today's Casio uh, timers which can only set up minutes and hours this one offers seconds as well just like the Casios of old <laughs> which were better in my opinion okay so let's say you've set up for this one second you activate it goes to zero and it beeps and that's pretty much it pressing any of the buttons will turn it off or once 15 seconds has passed it will turn off by itself and that's about it when it comes to the timer and we move on to the stopwatch uh, the stopwatch is a 24 hour stopwatch and it's a classic uh, stopwatch that's in 90 90 percent of Casio watches which means that you have a start uh, stop reset or you can have a start and then you have a split time by pressing the adjust but the, the stopwatch is go uh it keeps going you write write the split time you press this and the stopwatch has left off wait where, where, where it was and you can do the first and second time first and second place you have two runners the first one goes through the uh, through the finish line you press the adjust button the second one passes you press the stop button you write the time for the first runner pressing the adjust moves to the second runner you write his name or your, his uh, time and pressing the adjust again resets the stopwatch and that's pretty much it pressing the mode goes back to uh, to timekeeping mode and one more thing that I want to test I forgot is whether the beep is higher pitched when you go back to home time yes so as you can see the beep when you go back to home time is higher pitched than the beeps in other modes so that way you, even in the dark you know when when you came back to to your home time well that's about it when it comes to this watch i mean the user manual and everything and i hope you like the video and like i said check out the movie it's pretty cool and uh, at least if you like these kind of movies uh, some people will find it stupid because there's not much going on and it's only one guy actually two or maybe three max but I actually liked it and I like this watch. Well, thank you for watching and until next video, bye.